Before we start today's video, I just wanted to thank you, the viewer, for your overwhelming support and positivity in response to our new headquarters announcement. I'm just so excited to really get in there and, and make that space our own and just start cranking out some really, really, really awesome builds. Um, don't forget to come out to Mini Mayhem, April 24, 25, 26. Bring out your ATVs, your mini bikes, your dirt bikes, uh, your go-karts out to Busco Beach. You can find more information uh, on our Facebook page at Cars and Cameras Reviews. So let us know you're coming. It's going to be awesome. We had like over 150 people show up last time from all over the country. We also have a brand new t-shirt uh, for sale on our website, cars-cameras.com. So, uh, so head over to our website and buy one to uh, show your support for our channel. Anyway, thank you again, guys, and enjoy the video. What's up everybody, I'm John, this is Cars and Cameras, and this is the cleanup episode for our new headquarters. We're starting things off with a bang. Our friends Colin and John are here from Rattle Can Customs, and um, there's a toilet upstairs that we need to get rid of, and the best way to get rid of it is actually through the upstairs window. All right, ready, dude. Ready for this toilet, Bob? Yeah. Yeet. Oh crap. Oh, it doesn't fit. fit. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God. It didn't break! Yes! That project and many more to come on this episode of Cars and Cameras. Let me show you what all we have going on. So here's our crew for the new headquarters repair party. We have Isaac, usual suspect, Taylor, Colin, and John from Idle Ken Customs. They are usual suspects out at Mini Mayhem at Busco Beach. Actually, show us what you got in the back of the truck, guys. Oh, man. Got the Walmart special... Coleman BT 200 X's. We got them on sale. I want to say we'll pay what 300, 300 a piece for them. Um, and of course, in true rattle can fashion, what did I do? I didn't use the stock motor. I pulled it off and slapped a 420 in it. And she's fun. She's real fun. What's the top speed? Currently 58, but we're working on that. So. Is it governed? No. Ungoverned, but no stock governor. gearing. Uh, no governor, stock gearing. Impressive, guys. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Well, let's get started on the roof. All right, Ike, there's a hole in the roof, man. What are we going to do to fix it? Plug the hole. Plug the hole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's not just the hole in the roof. We actually have some more problems like 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 this piece right here. It is rotten. The the joists are rotten. There's a there's a lot going on here. So we're just going to cut out a piece at a time and and replace it with some new pieces and and just keep our fingers crossed on on the building staying up while we do this. Check out this lean-to. Nice. I mean, there's there's movement here. I wouldn't be standing on this. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, and plus, the lean-to is a little on the low side. I would like to pick it up, kind of go off a little bit higher up. Yeah. So we can have a little bit more headroom. Definitely. And uh, there's another rotten spot on the other side of the building we're going to have to get to, but that's on a later date. Gotcha. Another issue we have is the settling on this building. We have this this wall on the far side is actually dropping uh, the flooring and everything is dropping down causing cracking in the foundation I would like to uh, throw some band-aids on it I'm gonna call it bands or whatever I just want to put some braces in bolt through on the wall and just keep her from separating from more separating any any longer for as long as we can so, yeah um, the building is still useful we're gonna to try to keep it that way. You guys should have seen this place when uh, I just bought it. It was an absolute dump zone. I took over a thousand pounds of trash out of this place alone, this 20 by 20 center block building, to the dump. So we had all kinds of goodies upstairs. The, the toilet that we threw out um, and just all kinds of irrigation stuff. Um, so time to clean house, repair that roof, get this place ready to work in. Not only 
believe that I buy this wonderful shop. It also came with another wagon tub. So this is gonna get turned into a go-kart at some point. It's another beautiful but chilly morning out here on the homestead. Let's go up and I'll show you what we got done last night. All right, dude, we're uh, finishing up with this, these little slats. And uh, then we're gonna put some tar paper down and we're gonna throw some temporary shingle up just uh, for, for, for testing purposes. Yeah. Uh, Cause we are gonna put a metal roof on, on this roof. Yeah, that's long term. Yeah. But a metal roof would be awesome up here. We also want to build off about this point with the uh, lean-to going off the building uh, to replace that lean-to, give us a little bit more overhead. Yeah. in the windows and I come up and there's a roof all of a sudden. Yeah man, and it shouldn't leak. Yeah. Old roof, old tile that was sitting in the garage and then brand new tile. I was only shy three uh, shingles, bundle of shingles, well not bundles because the bundle's the whole thing. Three, all right, what is it called with the individual things, shingles? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyhow, we got a new roof, dude. Yes, indeed. And you're down to the last piece. Yep. You having trouble there, buddy? We'll get there. Got it. Awesome. It now, I, now I can get off this roof. Yes, you can. Thank you, thank you very much. So the roof patch is done. Ike is just finishing up by patching up the hole. It's looking really good. Filling in some holes. Safety first. <laughs> <laughs> Airtight shop, buddy. For the most part, almost. <laughs> That's a problem. That's all we have time for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we still don't have power out in the shop. I'm scheduled for an electrician to come out and install some good 220 power so we can get some good quality welding, a nice big air compressor installed in that shop. 
And um, yeah, we went out and we bought like a dozen four by eight sheets of OSB to put on the second floor to just help insulate heat and cooling. Um, and what else? Yeah, we also went out and bought a 20 foot I-beam, a four by six I-beam that we can uh, replace uh, the two by six with so we can get rid of those posts in the middle of the shop just to open it up. So if you wanna see more videos of upgrading and uh, fixing our new space, let us know in the comments. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, at Cars and Cameras Reviews. We have a brand new t-shirt out. Uh, so go check that out and buy one at our website, cars-cameras.com to support our channel and future projects. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.